You well know that Palm Sunday begins the most important week of the year. Beginning today and throughout Holy Week, we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the central events of our redemption and to relive once more the great mystery of our faith, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Today, as we accompany Christ on his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, we hear the joyful shouts of the crowd. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. And then by the end of the week, we'll hear those joyful shouts change dramatically to the words, crucify him, crucify him. But then these days after his death, three days after his death, he will rise again and we'll hear that beautiful acclamation, the Lord is risen. It's important for us to walk with Christ during this week. The Christian life is a pilgrimage, a sacred journey in which the death and resurrection of Christ is lived out in our own lives. St. Paul had this in mind when he wrote to the Philippians, all I want to know is Christ and the power of his resurrection and to share his sufferings by reducing the pattern of his death. Like Christ, we must say yes to the cross. Anyone who wants to keep his life for himself loses it. Anyone who gives his life day by day in small acts, that person finds it. All of us are pilgrims on the journey of faith. Pope Benedict spoke about this just a few hours before his resignation. I am simply a pilgrim beginning the last leg of his pilgrimage on earth. Pope Francis spoke about walking in God's presence and living blamelessly. Our life is a journey and when we stop moving, things go wrong. We are always journeying in the presence of the Lord. During this week, walk with Christ. Imagine yourselves by his side as storm clouds gather and enemies begin to plot against him and Judas betrays him. Join him in the upper room when he washes the disciples' feet institutes the Eucharist and establishes the ministerial priesthood. Watch him in the garden. Follow him to Calvary. Yes, walk as a pilgrim. Walk in communion with Christ. May divine grace open our hearts to an understanding of the invaluable gift of salvation obtained for us by Christ's death and resurrection.